Greetings again to everyone. This is again Dr. Cherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy. If you're new here in my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe and the bell button below for you to be updated with my weekly videos on different health topics that you and your family can benefit from. Looking at my analytics, since majority of my viewers are from English-speaking countries, and since some of them have requested that I make an English version on my video regarding the 8 symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, I will be making this video today. To my fellow Filipinos, don't worry, I will be including Tagalog subtitles in my future videos. Is vitamin D a vitamin that we just take for granted? According to the International Journal of Health Science, vitamin D deficiency remains to be a worldwide health concern. Even with the medical advances of this century, vitamin D deficiency is considered to be an epidemic because over a billion people is still deficient with this vitamin. It works as a hormone because it helps regulate the amount of calcium and potassium that you have in your blood to help you have strong bones. If you lack vitamin D, you will have soft, brittle bones that is called rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults. Together with your calcium, vitamin D helps protect you from the loss of bone mineral density or what we call as osteoporosis, which will make you susceptible to fractures. Vitamin D is also important for your muscles to function well and had also been implicated with boosting your immune system. In fact, a journal that is recently published had shown that patients or people who had been diagnosed with COVID-19, if they are deficient with vitamin D, they are 20 times at risk of being put in ICU compared to those patients who are not vitamin D deficient. Vitamin D supplementation among patients with COVID-19 have also shown improvement of clinical symptoms. Here are the eight symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. Number one, you easily get tired and you feel weak. If you find yourself always feeling tired, consider the possibility of being deficient in this humble vitamin because vitamin D has the capacity to enhance your mitochondria in every single cell in your body. Your mitochondria is called the powerhouse in your cell and this is the one that gives you energy. Number two, you have bone pain. Although bone pain had been implicated with aging, this could also be a symptom that you are deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D is needed for calcium to be well absorbed in your body that is needed for your bone health. Number three, you easily get sick. Do you know that even in laboratory studies, it has shown that vitamin D deficiency can lead to various conditions such as, for example, hypertension, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome, neurodegenerative conditions such as Alzheimer's, can lead to 17 types of different cancer. It may lead to stroke and even heart disease, birth defects, and periodontal disease. If you notice in yourself that you easily get sick, for example, you easily catch a cold, consider the possibility of vitamin D deficiency and do something about it. It might just help you. Number four, you easily get angry and you always feel sad. Do you know that vitamin D has the capacity to release neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin, which are called your happy hormones? This is the reason why vitamin D deficiency have also been linked with depression and also the reason why vitamin D supplementation is recommended for people who are suffering from depression and different anxiety problems. Number five, you cannot sleep well at night. Do you know that lack of vitamin D has been associated with many sleeping problems? You will have fewer sleeping hours and you will have less restful and less restorative sleep for you. This is because vitamin D helps produce the hormone melatonin which helps you sleep better at night. Number six, you will have painful muscles. Although sometimes we can prevent that we will have muscle pain every now and then, or perhaps you will have muscle pain after your workout, which is called delayed onset muscle soreness. 
However, if your muscle pain had been there for quite some time, consider the possibility of vitamin D deficiency because vitamin D is needed for our muscle health. In fact, lack of vitamin D had been linked to skeletal muscle weakness. Number 7. You have falling hair. Hair fall which is between 50 to 100 a day is considered normal. This may be due to stress or due to the products that we are using. However, if your hair fall is severe, you might consider vitamin D deficiency. Alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune condition and is characterized by hair loss, had been linked with rickets, which is also associated with lack of vitamin D. Number 8. You have slower wound healing time. If your skin had been cut, you will need greater amount of vitamin D to help with the healing. For those of you who had been diagnosed with diabetes, vitamin D will help you with diabetic ulcers as well as it can help you regulate the amount of sugar that you have in your body. People who work indoors, those who wear extensive clothing, those who regularly use sunscreen, those who are dark skin, and those who consciously avoid the sun are at risk of vitamin D deficiency. You are deficient if you have less than 20 nanograms per millimeter in your blood. Daily exposure to sunlight for 15 to 20 minutes with 40% of your skin exposed without the use of sunscreen could help you. Use only your sunscreen after doing this because it has been shown that 30% SPF lotion can already block off 90% of your vitamin D absorption. If you have darker skin color, you might need a little longer time because the amount of melanin present in your skin can affect the degree of your vitamin D absorption. Traditionally, the vitamin D system begins in our skin and not in our mouth. However, good sources of vitamin D would include your egg yolk, your fortified dairy products, and even your beef liver. If ever you think you need to supplement given these 8 symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, you will find out that you will have two forms of vitamin D readily available in your different pharmacies. They are your vitamin D2 or otherwise known as your ergo calciferol and vitamin D3 or otherwise known as your cole calciferol. Vitamin D2 is from plant source while vitamin D3 is from your animal source. If you choose to supplement, choose vitamin D3 because recent clinical studies have shown that vitamin D3 is two times more potent than vitamin D2 in promoting the amount of vitamin D in your body. The recommended daily dosage of vitamin D is between 400 to 800 IU per day. Take it in the morning together with your breakfast. This video would serve as general information. It is still best to consult your family physician for a thorough and personalized evaluation. An overdose of vitamin D, although rare, is still possible if you take between 4,000 to 5,000 IU per day. Symptoms would include loss of appetite, dizziness, and vomiting. Do you find this video helpful? Please comment down below because I would really love to hear from you. Should you have any questions regarding vitamin D deficiency or any topics that I might be able to help you with, please comment down below and I would surely get back on you. Please share this video to your friends whom you think would also benefit from this video so that we would be able to reach more people. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless you.